Well, I'll be honest with you, I didn't read the entire script. I have one scene and I wanted to save it for tonight. So we'll see what's in store. I think it'll be good. I have just joined this. I am on the outskirts, if you like, of the main of the main event. But I, I think and I hope that the fans will get exactly what they want from this film. They've been waiting a long time. I think you've got the, you know, the fantasy world, if you like, of you know the rich people and the and the, the, the workers down below. But he's historically he you know gives great you know storytelling, but also gives a human story to all the you know everyone who's dressed up and having these dinner scenes. But there's sometimes something you know a bit edgy going on, and I think that's what makes it different. Let's say that I'm a, a butler from another camp who invades the uh, sanctity of downstairs. <laughs> I think it's irresistible, the world of upstairs and downstairs, the overlap and collisions between those two worlds and the relationships between everybody who works there. I play Queen Mary her the wife of King George V, and they pay an unexpected visit to Downton Abbey. And um, much to the alarm of the family who have to prepare, which is quite an undertaking. Julian has, and the whole production has matched it up to a big screen. I mean, the story is sort of fuller, bigger, What they apparently did in those days uh, was when they decided to visit a stately home, they would send the invitation, the sort of reverse invitation. The king and queen will be coming to stay, which must have been a nightmare for the people who owned the house. And it's rather wonderful to be transported to a, a lifestyle that we'd all rather like to have enjoyed ourselves. And if we can't, then at least we can enjoy it by watching other people do it. Lucy comes as part of the royal party, so she's a lady's maid to Lady Bagshaw, and I think she's at a period in her life where she's quite unsure of where she fits in and who she is, and I think the kind of nature of being a lady's maid is, is that you are slightly between the two worlds, you can drift between them, and so she, she meets someone at Downton who kind of helps her find her way. Downton, when it was a TV series, was kind of beautiful enough and epic enough, but I think that it's just gone that extra level in terms of being cinematic. The location is looks completely beautiful. I think what they're going to love um, is that they get to see all of their favourite characters that they've enjoyed throughout the, the decade of down Danton and now today it all comes together in one gorgeous, fantastically cleverly put together storytelling and everyone gets to shine. It's lovely. And I enjoyed it as a fan for years and years when I was in my late teens and my twenties and you just it's but it, you feel like you've become part of the family too. So it's, it's it's for me as an actor stepping onto set it felt like it was a real pinch me moment.